Let's explore how you can leverage Soligo's AI toolset to help you build, optimize, and troubleshoot your integrations. We'll walk through a flow with a number of issues and demonstrate how we can use Soligo's various AI assistants to help resolve them. Here's the flow we'll work with. Let's say you're the internal support lead in your organization. You're building a flow to transfer support ticket data from ServiceNow to a spreadsheet. The spreadsheet provides an immediate overview of internal tickets without logging into ServiceNow and is shareable across teams, even those without a license for ServiceNow. While this flow works, the result isn't ideal. Here's the spreadsheet we get after running the flow. Most importantly, we would like to replace these internal IDs with the actual names of the employees assigned to the ticket and the individuals who open them. We could use a lookup step, but there might be a faster, more efficient way to achieve this. Next, the date field in the spreadsheet could be in a more easily readable format. We could use a transformation to make it more readable. We know we can use JavaScript for this, but we're not that familiar with it. Finally, once we have both the IDs and names for fields like the ticket assignee and the ticket opener, we'd like to change our import mapping to include hyperlinks in the spreadsheet. This will allow us to click on a name or on a link to the ticket itself and immediately jump into ServiceNow for more details or to edit information. Let's explore how we can use Soligo's AI assistance to help implement these changes in the flow. So let's take a look at the first step of the flow. You can see here in the preview, when we use the ticket opener as an example of the data we're receiving, that we get two fields. We get the link, which is a link to the result in the ServiceNow API, and the value, which is the internal ID of the user that opened the ticket. The same is the case for the ticket assignee. This one's empty because this ticket is unassigned. But if we go to one that is assigned, the same thing. We get the link and we get the internal ID. So we want to get both the IDs and the names, especially the names, so that we can display them in the spreadsheet. This might involve some in-depth reading of ServiceNow's API documentation to find the right parameter or fields to alter. However, we can likely get an answer more quickly with AI. Soligo's custom GPT is a great first resource to consult. This GPT is trained on all things Soligo, making it especially helpful when troubleshooting in the platform. It will have useful information about the platform and how to create connections and configure steps for its many varied connectors. I've previously asked Soligo GPT about this problem. I mentioned that only IDs of records were coming through, but we want both the IDs and names. I've also shared a screenshot of the step configuration to help the AI understand the current state of the flow. In turn, Soligo GPT suggested that I adjust the sysparm display value query parameter to all, which will return both the internal ID of records and the display name of the records, like the ticket assignee and the ticket opener. This means that by changing this parameter, we can now display the names of the users in the spreadsheet instead of their internal IDs. So we'll update that parameter. And now with some quick adjustment to our import mapping, we should see names come through rather than IDs. So I've now adjusted the mapping to only use display values. We'll save this new mapping and run the flow once again. Now that our flow is finished running, we'll take a look at the spreadsheet. And we can see that we're now receiving the names for records rather than just the IDs. Next, we'll tackle the date field. The date the ticket was opened is currently in a format that's somewhat unintuitive. We'll add a transformation step to make it easier to parse. So we'll return to our flow and we'll add a transformation to alter the data coming out from ServiceNow. We can build our transformation using JavaScript. I already have an empty script that we can use to start. So here's where we write our script. The function's input is all the data being exported from the ServiceNow step. To use AI to edit or write our script, we'll open this tab down below. Here, we can describe what we want our script to do using its input, which is the script so far, and all the data coming out from ServiceNow. 
it would be most direct to refer to the fields by name. However, we can also just describe our goal, and the AI can often semantically infer which fields it's going to need to use. We'll say, I want the date the ticket was opened to be in a more easily readable format. For example, Sunday, February 9th, 2025. And we'll send that. And now once the script is ready, we can test it out in the preview window. We want to see if it's changed this opened at field. And there we go. It used to be in this format, and now it's in the format we requested. Looks like it worked. So the AI even includes best practices to ensure that the data is present before trying to transform it. This can prevent potential errors that could result in the future from trying to access non-existent data since the field was transformed, we don't even need to redo our mapping. We'll save our script and run our flow again to update and check our progress. So now that the flow is complete, we can take a look at our spreadsheet and see the result. So it looks like our transformation worked. The date the ticket was opened is now in the format that we requested from the Soligo AI. Finally, let's add hyperlinks to the spreadsheet. We want to turn the ticket assignee's name, the ticket opener's name, and the ticket itself into clickable links. I've added a column which will feature a link saying View Ticket that will link us to the ticket in ServiceNow corresponding to its row. Hyperlinks in Sheets can be created with built-in Sheets functions. Notice that the URL in ServiceNow to Tickets follows this format. We have the ServiceNow instance at the beginning and the internal ID at the end. The links for users, like the ticket assignee David Liu, are very similar. We have the instance at the beginning and the ID at the end. In our spreadsheet, we might display the name David Liu under the assignee and link to this URL. There is one tricky case. The ticket assignee is sometimes empty if a ticket is yet to be assigned. In this case, we need a handlebar expression that only creates a hyperlink if the ticket has someone assigned to it. Otherwise, it should tell us that the ticket is unassigned. So let's return to the flow and start building our handlebar expression. We'll change our import mapping. Go to the mapping settings for the assigned to field. Change our mapping type to handlebars expression and now we'll enter the handlebar editor. So like the script editor, we can access our AI helper down here, and we'll describe to the assistant our goal based on our current handlebar expression and the resources available. So I'll start describing our goal, create a Google Sheets hyperlink that displays the ticket assignee's name and links to them in ServiceNow. For reference, here's what a link to a user like the assignee looks like in my instance. So now I'll use the URL as an example. This hyperlink should only be created if the ticket has an assignee. Otherwise, print unassigned. So we'll send the prompt. And now we can test it out by pressing the preview button. And we should expect, un expect unassigned because this ticket is unassigned but we can test out the more important case that it is assigned by just altering this preview data. And we'll take that link, put that here, and now we should expect to get our hyperlink.
and we do. So it looks like everything's working. I'm going to save and close. Save this new mapping. And I'm going to configure mappings for the ticket opener and the ticket itself using AI in a similar fashion. All right, I've finished mapping the fields with Sligo's Handlebar AI Assistant. And now I've saved my result. I'll close out and I'll run the flow one more time and we'll view the final result. So now that the flow is finished running, let's take a look at the complete spreadsheet. So here's the final version of the spreadsheet. The data is not only more readable, but it also includes clickable links that take you straight into ServiceNow for more detail or to edit the record, like the ticket or assignee involved. By using Sligo's AI assistance, we've transformed a basic spreadsheet with hard to read dates and internal IDs rather than names into an easy to understand report with actionable links. Sligo's AI assistants bridge technical knowledge gaps and help you accelerate integration development, whether you're troubleshooting connectors, creating scripts, or mapping data with handlebar expressions.